Here are the four steps to troubleshoot when your trigger is not pulling any data to kick off your recipe. So the first thing you want to check is if you're connected to the right instance. So you click into the trigger and click connection and check if you're connected to the right instance. In this case, I want to be connected to the product Salesforce account, which is the right one. So if the connection is the right connection, the next thing you want to check is do you have data at the source? So in this instance, I'm looking for an opportunity in Salesforce. And in our product instance, I do have an opportunity available that I am looking out for. So if you have data at the source and you have the right connection, the third thing you want to look out for is to see if your trigger condition is either too precise or too loose for the data that you're looking out for. In this case, I have the amount to be greater than 50,000 and our opportunity data is over that amount. So it should be pulling that information. So, so far, all three of those things should be you know, kicking off this trigger. So if all three of those are not pointing to why the data is not being pulled, the last thing you want to check is when the recipe is set to start, which is the time machine. And here we can see that the recipe is only picking events from after the recipe has been started or tested. And in this case, because this data was pulled or created before the recipe started, it's not being pulled. So those are the four things you want to look out for. First, you want to check if you have the right connection. Second, you want to check if you have data at the source. Third, check if your trigger filter or trigger condition is picking up the right data. And finally, check at what point in time you're pulling that data from. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.